publication day! Starbucks waiting for my publicist Steffi to go to BBC Wogan House to do some radio interviews because today is publication day, the book is out today. And I'm having a peppermint mocha frappuccino for Kamari to celebrate. Yeah, she can, I won't give too much away, but she can see things that other people can't and with that ability she's able to put her good feelings into the things that she bakes and she then gives them to other people in order to try and uh, help them with their lives and make them feel better. She meets someone who can do the same but uh, uses it for bad purposes. Well, I never sleep and I have no social life. Okay, so Carrie Hopkins, Fletcher's uh, book is uh, all that she can eat and uh, she said it's available Thank you so much. Thanks, bye. <laughs> All that she could eat. Oh my God. Is it too late to change the oh title of the book? I, well, I hope so, yeah. There's lots of um, sort of drama channels now on YouTube uh, which kind of thrive on the shock factor and getting people angry and riled up and I'm, I'm hoping that my channel will always remain um, a positive place for people to come for to be to be happy. I love cherry pie. It's it's, it's my favourite one. That's why she's called cherry. <laughs> I go for a, I go for a lattice top. I like being able to see the fruit. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Bye. Oh, I heart burning. Oh. Oh. Woo. Woo. Well done. Excellent. Perfect. now in Waterstones and I'm about to go and surf behind the counter at the cafe in honour of Cherry and publication day. the uh, Prosecco came out and the camera went off <laughs> um, and I didn't really film anything for the rest of the day but to be honest we basically had lunch had a celebratory drink or three and then I went shopping that was pretty much the rest of my day but now it is the day of my London Waterstones event at the St James Church in Piccadilly I am now on Regent Street and I'm having to go to the Apple store because my charger has died on me my laptop charger a pretty important thing when you're editing and writing the Apple were so unbelievably helpful. The guy booked me an appointment at the Genius Bar within like five minutes. This guy came over, like really, really helpful, went and just checked my wire and swapped it out because my laptop was still within the three year like Apple Care guarantee thing. So I didn't have to buy a new charger and spend like stupid amounts of money. Apple are great. I'm not sponsored by the way, they're just great. And now I'm off to Topshop to get myself a new pair of shoes because these ones have split down the back. I'm a mess. I'm now walking down my old home of Wardour Street. Oh, Bunny Chow's gone. What's that? It's now Ben and Jerry's store, okay, I can't complain, that's pretty cool. And I'm walking down the street to get to Jackson and Rye, which is where I'm meeting the book team for a celebratory dinner before the event tonight. I'm the first to arrive in Jackson and Rye and I look like such a loner. The whole restaurant's empty. It's literally just me. Although I have just made friends with the waiter, Chris. He's really nice. That's me. That's me. The Snapchat filter. And for Sandra Shannon, Carrie Hope Fletcher. Um, and she 
is currently playing Wednesday Adams in the Adams family. Um, she's, <laughs> um, she's also the creator of the YouTube channel It's Way Past My Bedtime. <laughs> Yeah, I always describe it as Evie's everything that I wish I was and Cherry's everything I wish I wasn't. Oh. But not in the sense that she's like a bad person, but she's very anxious, she's a real overthinker, and she worries about everything. And they're sort of some of the traits that I wish, not that I didn't have, but I just wish I had less of. Because I really do overthink and worry about everything. Um, and it always turns out that I never needed to in the first place. Um, and if, I feel like putting that into Cherry, and, uh, but then making her like persevere through everything anyway was kind of very like therapeutic for me. And she's just announced a new book today as well. Yeah, it's called Some Kind of Wonderful. Go out and pre-order. <laughs> <laughs> do, do your family in general read your books? Yes, my mum, bless her heart, she, um, she only got her copy of it yesterday and usually I'm home so I get to give her a copy of it. But this time I was away for like a month and a half. She was going to go and buy it anyway, but it meant she had to like wait until the day that it came out to go and get it. She was like, I wanted to read it for so long, I can't believe Lurch from the Adams family read it for me. <laughs> <laughs> and he was actually the first person to sit down, you know, apart from my, my team, he was the first person to sit down and, uh, and read it, bless him. And he kept, he kept like pausing in his dressing room, coming to my dressing room, would knock on the door, give me a kiss on the cheek and just be like, I think you're wonderful, and then leave again. <laughs> Um, YouTuber slash authors get really upset when they're asked the question, yeah, but did you really write it? And I quite like being asked that question because it means that I can be like, actually, yeah, I did. <laughs> that I can kind of shoot it down straight away because I have nothing to hide because I have written my books. I have a notebook, which is, I, I mean, I have several notebooks and I'm a little bit obsessed with notebooks, but I will never move on to a new notebook until that one's finished. Um, and yes, yeah, so my notebook is always next to me, always open, and I like to take notes and I'll have like a different page for every character and it will be like a page for their personality traits and then a, a whole page for their connection to this character and then another page for the, con the connection to that character and it's all very extensive. Um, and a jar of peanut butter. <laughs> there will always be a jar of peanut butter with just with a spoon in it, on the desk. And tea. Oh, tea. <laughs> tea was 